exposure to the viewers' comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. If you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it. If you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about, it's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. First comment comes from Joshua Hardaway. And it's actually a comment on a video from, I think it's June 20th, 2018. So June, let's see, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, over five years ago, this video. And they're watching it now. That's fascinating to me. It's amazing. And they say, for the claimant's knowledge by the fact is with the grace for the video. And I do appreciate this comment and this attempt at correct sentence structure. As I am a grammar tutor, this is my vessel. I am duty bound to critique and audit this sentence. So this is not correct sentence structure. Number one, because the positional sequencing is incorrect. For the facts of the facts are with the facts by the facts. For, of, verb, with, by. If you're going to use the for position lodial fact phrase format with the verb smack dab in the middle, it has to be for, of, with, by. There's no way that the cause of the sentence, which is for, would come after the verb. There's no way the authority of the sentence, the by, would come before the verb because that voids the mathematical interface of the grammar. For is cause of his concern with his possessive by his authority. And there's no full stop at the end. So for, for is a pronoun, the is an adverb. Claim his knowledge is an adjective, by is a pronoun, the is an adverb. Fact is an adjective, is is an adjective, with is a pronoun, the is an adverb. Uh, grace is an adjective. For, for, is a pronoun. The is an adverb, and video is a dangling participle verb. So a quick way to fix this, switch out the positionals. It could be for the claimant's knowledge of the fact is with the grace by the video. For the video of the grace is with the fact by the claimant's knowledge. Now it's a very kindergartenish correct sentence structure. The last two, I mean, it's unclear what, what I, what the individual means by this, by giving the video, you know, since video comes at the end, if you say by the video, giving that the authority, I don't know how you would say that the grace, that a video has grace. I think only human beings can possess grace. Grace can be conveyed by a human being via the medium of a video, but uh, there you go. So I just showed you how to fix this sequentially positional wise but i would definitely add more to it so that you can be very clear number one who the claimant is number two i don't know what this is you know what it is what is it a claim of what do you what are you claiming here joshua as i say to all my students you know if you're a beginner a great way to start the sentence would be for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the blah 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 and then you can say what you're claiming, and that way you're very clear on everything. This next set of comments sort of brings a smile to my face because this is a good example of someone showing their true colors. And this individual is named 
Radikaparabu. Radikaparabu. And uh, I addressed this comment in my last comments video where it says, No, so, so much it, <clears throat> it burns my heart here for right, os, nest, and correct justice. Please do not stop. Not hear about grammar. And as I said in the last video, I don't know what this individual is saying. I mean, the way their style is very strange to me. They don't communicate like anyone I know that uses plain, simple English. Even someone where plain, simple English is not their first language. Um, so to me, they're basically playing word games. But in other comments they left, uh, they would say things like, you know, love and light, you know, uh, very positive comments. And then, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but the video that they're commenting on is I'm being very critical of Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould's grammar and his claims. Again, I am not making personal statements or ad hominems against him or his character. What I'm doing is I'm criticizing and calling into question his claims and his grammar. That's it. You got to separate the two. So they made these comments on this video, which are, you know, I don't see anything negative in these comments, which leads me to believe, based on the next comments that I'm going to show you, that they didn't watch this video or any of the Russell J. Gould videos that they commented so positively on. They must have finally watched a video and then they completely changed their demeanor. And here we go. RJG is right. You are a idiot. Was given a chance. Is that some funny stuff or what? What was given a chance? A chance for what? Who gave me a chance? When was that chance given? Because if a chance was given to me, I must have missed it. And I don't even know what I need a chance for. Um... So if they said RJG is right, you're an idiot, then they must have heard Russell J. Gould say that. I mean, that's a guess on my part. But, you know, I don't know if that's true or not true. I mean, Russell has never, ever, in any communication we've ever had, name-called me or said anything to me along those lines. I've only heard that he said things, so I don't hold that against him because I've never heard him actually say that, and he certainly hasn't said it to my face or in an email or communication or anything like that. So if he said that, I mean, it makes sense if, because that's the way his followers act as well. They, they use numerous logical fallacies in their conveyances. They name call. They like to make fun of people and basically use bullying behavior because that's the lowest hanging fruit and that's all they have available to them because they don't know jack shit about the grammar. So Rada Kaparabu, thank you for the entertainment. Thank you for the interesting style of grammar in your comments. And walk the plank. Next comment comes from Epic Lights 2860. They're a member. Thank you very much for your membership. And they say, Hi, Jason, as far as I'm aware, and with the material that is available in the public domain for many years, David Wynn Miller copyrighted the quantum grammar technology on April 6, 2000 at 5.30 a.m. I do not know of anyone else that has certified the quantum grammar technology with the mathematical interface prior to that time. I don't know any way to certify what you just said there, Epic Lights. I mean, I don't know who you are. I'm sure I'm sure your correct name is not Epic Lights. I'm sure that's a nom de guerre, so I don't know you, and I don't know, there's no proof of what you're claiming here. What I can say is, I will bet you dollars to donuts that that copyright does not have correct grammar on it. I have seen the copyrights, or a copyright, for correct sentence structure and it 
did not have correct grammar on it. So therefore, how can you copyright a correct grammar technology if the copyright claim itself is not in correct grammar? Answer me that question. I never met David, but I consider myself blessed to have been a student of David for a number of years. Every time I rang him, he was always so kind, courteous, and helpful. I can say the same for every time I emailed him, he always replied. And I can say the same as well. You know, during the last year of his life, I was in contact with him. I never met him in person, but I communicated with him via Skype, uh, video calls, uh, text messages on the cell phone, emails, and, of course, audio on the phone. So, <clears throat> but to address what you said there, in the years that I've been in this since the summer of 2017, I have never seen a copyright claim written in correct grammar. So therefore, to me, no copyright, correct copyright claim exists. Therefore, if you know how to use this grammar, if you know the flag mechanics, the banking mechanics, the pulsing mechanics, and the grammar mechanics, then you can use the grammar because you have knowledge. Next comment comes from Duffy Footer member. Thank you very much for your membership. And they say, interesting, a buddy sent me both parts to this a couple weeks ago. Oh, he's talking about the uh, reaction to the all cast podcast that had Russell J. Gould on it. My buddy says that the all-cast handle is a podcaster from Arizona. RJG gives off such a staunch arrogance, it is nauseating. Funny how trespass seems a forefront with the RJG. Keep up too good. Much love to you, Jason, to all the people who read this. Well, thank you, Def 5 Footer, for those sentiments. And your perception of Russell J. Gould, um, I do get that impression as well at times. Next comment comes from the Learner 1000 and they say, Dear Jason, you know me for making comments all the time. I'm not new to your channel and I've learned a lot. I will say a couple of things about you, about my observations of you. You are not a lazy guy. Well, thank you. You answer to anyone that asks and that comments on your channel. This takes a lot of energy apart from putting a lot of energy making videos which some people will never know what it's like to be on your side of the video. And thank you for that as well. So far from my experience of watching your channel and how it was developed, you have kept the honor and grace with integrity. Thank you. Your passion for correct sentence structure is great and it will be difficult to find people with the same intensity. So the statement you many times, 1% of 1% of the 1% will only learn this grammar technology with full closure is correct. Well, I, you know, the learner 1000, whomever you may be, uh, that means a lot to me. You know, that, uh, it really does. I appreciate that, uh, that's your perception of me and what I do. And there's not really much more I can say about it other than uh, it humbles me that uh, someone would actually take the time to type something like that out and send it to me. So thank you. And another one from the five footer, the five footer, more about the all cast. And uh, they say, my buddy knows this all cast. From what I have gathered, all cast moves with equity as the way to handle the fiction system. All cast likes the RJG and the now time concept, but finds that the quantum grammar does not work. All cast has a program that is claimed to work 100% of the time versus the fiction system. For a small fee of $5,000, all cast will teach this program to the paid. I was told that I need to be doing this program due to the lack of quantum grammar standing in the courts. I politely declined. Well, 5,000 bucks, huh? That's crazy. Um, if anybody out there is a gambler or they like to bet, I will bet you three troy ounces of gold. Three troy ounces of gold. Yes, three troy ounces of gold that no one, affiliated with the all cast podcast no one on their staff knows quantum grammar i bet not one of them knows anything about it 
I bet they cannot create a correct sentence structure. I bet that they don't know how to syntax. Anybody can parse. <clears throat> Anybody can parse. But not everyone can syntax and not everyone can create a correct grammatical sentence. So that's my guess. And that's my offer. Anybody out there want to take me up on it? I'll bet three troy ounces of gold that no one at all cast knows correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, and that's why it doesn't work. <clears throat> and if Russell J. Gould, I mean, I don't know how long they've known Russell. I don't know if he or one of his followers have tried to teach them quantum grammar. But it's not quantum grammar what they teach. It's quantum gobbledygook. <laughs> it's not correct grammar. It's like 50%, if that. That's being generous. It's 50%, maybe 75 maybe. Because I notice in some of their uh, website grammar that they obviously have been watching my channel because they've incorporated a lot of the things that I teach into their grammar, but not all of it. So that's my offer. If anyone wants to take me up on it, feel free. Jason at gmail.com. Anybody from all cast, I bet no one there can pass my correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, test. Matter of fact, I bet no one watching this right now can pass that test. If you think you can, contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And if you have closure on the grammar, you should be able to take this test in 10 to 15 minutes. No problem. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, Contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.